Um, I started playing baseball when I was three, four years old. I've been playing ever since, and pretty much I can remember. I started playing baseball in about three or four, when I was playing a little, little baby t-ball, watching my brothers play. I have two brothers, Jeff and John, and watch them play, watch my dad play. 2010, 2011 season, I was a freshman then. Um, the team we had it was really good. We had really, lots of talent in there. We just really couldn't piece it together at the beginning of the season. But towards the middle and towards the end, we really pulled it together and just all in all in the conference tournament, we really didn't do as well as we thought we would. Uh, coming into this season, we, I've noticed we have a stronger team bond than normal. Let's season one goal, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Three, one, two, three, three. Baseball, my life, for the most part, is my life. If I didn't really have baseball, I really probably wouldn't know what to do. Baseball, for me, has done lots of things. It's got me in my physique that I love. I know the ladies like it, but other than that, it's taught me respect, um, honor, um, responsibility, uh, friendship, and loyalty. Um, I mean, all those are pretty basic things to being a good, you know, collegiate athlete and be successful in life, I believe. Unless you're, I mean, going to be in the Marines. But <clears throat> other than that, I mean, that's it's a basic necessity. It's a necessity to life, those characteristics of what baseball has done to me. If, if I never played baseball, um, I would definitely be a lot different. I mean, it's just, this game, it's given, it's just, it's given me so much. And, I don't know, it's, it's taught me a lot of things about hard work, discipline, especially like dedication and everything. And I'll, I'll you know, I, I cherish everything that this game has given me. Here we go. Baseball, baseball though has become like it's being first option more and more recently. It's taught me a lot of responsibility um, and like prioritizing time. That's the main thing because the last like three weeks of school, spring quarter, both freshman and sophomore year, I did not know what to do with myself. I was just completely dumbfounded at the amount of time I had. This is the best time of my life. Just, you know. <clears throat> this, this really is the best time of my life, playing baseball with my best friends. I mean, there's no other way I could put it. It, it This is the, the best time of my life. Just look, there's been a lot of fun times, like road trips, talking on the bus, playing a lot of different games. Um, Something that comes to mind in particular would be conference tournament last season. Um, White and I came in uh, against St. Thomas in the second game and ended up keeping the game pretty close. We went, I think, probably four or five innings together. Uh, only one run given up between us, so that, that was kind of special, actually. That was a lot of fun. It was nice to shut down a team that's the best hitting team in the conference, no doubt. I, there's nothing I could say about Reed Warner. I have no, I don't know. I don't want to put it on camera, the things that I have to say about Reed Warner. Uh, I'd actually like to hear the full story before I, com I comment at all on that. All right, so conference tournament freshman year. We get off the bus. As soon as we get off the bus, we go into a Walgreens that's next to the hotel to get you know snacks or whatever. There's this, there's this fucking guy, this bald guy. And he looked like a kid on our team. As soon as we walked in the door, this guy turns to us and goes, How do you like Fort Myers? I was like, dude, I just fucking got here like 10 minutes ago. I didn't even have time to scratch my balls since we got off the bus and you asked me how I fucking like. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait. Yeah, I was still I was still hurt, so I don't think I was there.
you see Larson walking up to the I'm going to cry. Guy. There's no doubt I'm going to cry. It was just him cry. and the, I don't know if the doctor guy was. It was I think about it every day. Was I mean, it, it's, it's hard Normally he's a funny guy, so he starts off with the joke. This day I thought was just like, you know, ah, oh, shit. Who, who got in trouble this time? Who, who got busted just with something this time? Kept, kept waiting, waiting for the... Uh, I'm just playing with y'all. We're really just here to talk about something else. Never happens. Never happens. Never happens. This day I thought was just like, you know, ah oh shit, who, who got in trouble this time? When, who, who got busted with something this time? When we first heard about it, it was, it was heartbreaking, knowing that we can't play baseball after this year. That's all I've done. You know, I don't, I've never gone to school without playing baseball, so it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be weird. There's probably year. not gonna be. A, there's not gonna be a season next year for y'all. And just kept waiting for the. Uh, I'm just playing with y'all. We're really just here to talk about something else. Never happened. Just completely shocked. Didn't see that coming yeah, was, at all. We all thought he was joking at first. Then he started to go into details about it, and he just. It really took everyone as a shock. And we all really didn't know what to do. At the end, when he got done talking, um, my senior captain, Matt Zayak, all told us that, you know, just because we our season's done after this year, we don't have to go out and just piss it away. We can, you know, let's do something special with the talent pool we have. The only thing, the only thing I, was, I was doing was just looking at all the reactions of my teammates, you know, how they felt and how they, how they reacted. And I could see in Coach Lewis and Coach Wallenberg's eyes, it was just like, it was just, Sickening, just just a sick, sick feeling in their stomach, just terrible. And then once it kind of, kind of filled in my mind a little bit about what happened and what he said, it's just I just started bawling. I just started crying my eyes out. Um, I guess really the motivation that's like really making, <clears throat> making me play and making all of us play is the fact that we want to show everyone that decided to cut us like what the things, like basically we're showing the people that cut us why they shouldn't have cut us. We're gonna show them that, you know, we have a lot of talent and that, you know, they're just making the wrong choices cutting our program. I mean, it's, it, the last, our last game, it, it's gonna be very emotional on the field. I mean, you're gonna have a lot of people that are just gonna they're just gonna, you know, they're gonna not gonna be able to hold it in. They're just gonna lose it. There's, there's gonna be a lot of emotions. Oh, that's gonna be painful. That's gonna be painful, no doubt. I, I, I'm probably gonna tear up. Man, like, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. We gotta play smart. All right, we gotta recognize mid-continents coming in here and they haven't been on a field for so long or whatever. Not a whole lot, but right. I think line drive ground balls are gonna be a lot tougher for them to field than fly balls and pop-ups, okay? we got to play smart. I think Coach Williams has already got a report on most of the pitchers being 83 to 86, okay? They, they don't only return one starter. What they, what they bring is bringing in a lot of junior college players, a lot of transfers, okay? And I haven't played them as a team, all right? Remember this, okay? The best baseball players are the, are the ones that are, that are selfless, unselfish. All right, they're team players. They play for the team. All right, remember this, okay? 